Alpha Brain is a supplement that promises to boost your memory, focus, and mental speed. But is there any scientific evidence to back up these claims? That's what we're going to find out in this video. I'll go over the clinical evidence for Alpha Brain. I'll discuss some major safety concerns and medication interactions that you need to know about. And finally, I'm going to give you my personal experience and overall opinion about Alpha Brain. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. My name is Anna, AKA NeuroGalMD. I am a board certified neurologist and I love making videos about all topics related to the brain. One of my passions is making nootropic supplement reviews and I have been itching to give Alpha Brain a proper review. So here we go. Let's take a look at the clinical studies. I found two studies. The first study had 63 healthy young adults taking two capsules of Alpha Brain or a placebo for six weeks. The group taking Alpha Brain showed a 12% improvement in verbal recall compared to the placebo group. However, there were no improvements in other measures of learning and memory, attention, concentration, or processing speed. The second study was conducted with 43 active duty US Army soldiers and, drum roll please, there were no improvements in reaction time or shooting accuracy compared to placebo. There were also no improvements in measures of mood or stress and no changes in cortisol level, the so-called stress hormone. It's also important to note that the studies I just mentioned tested a different formulation of Alpha Brain. At some point in the last couple of years, Alpha Brain took out the ingredient Vimpocetine from its formulation. Reasons are unclear, but it may be related to the FDA statement in 2019 that mentioned that Vimpocetine increases the risk of miscarriage and fetal harm. All right, let's dive into the ingredients in Alpha Brain. Alpha Brain has a long list of ingredients, many of which are bundled up in a mysterious blend. The exact amount of each ingredient is a mystery, so we're kind of shooting in the dark here. Not great, but let's see what we can find out about each one. First, we have cat's claw, L-leucine, and pterostilbene. Some test tube and animal studies suggest that these might help with memory loss associated with aging and dementia, but human clinical studies on these compounds are lacking. It's important to note that human studies are much more definitive than animal studies or in vitro or test tube studies. This is because what works in one species, like a mouse, may not work in humans. Also, in vitro or test tube studies may provide us with basic biological mechanisms of a treatment, but they may not accurately reflect the complex interactions that occur in a living organism. Next up, huprazine A and GPC or L-alpha glycerol phosphoryl choline. That is a mouthful. <laughs> There's some preliminary evidence that these might help improve memory in people with dementia, but we don't really know if they do the same for healthy folks. Also, a recent animal study suggests that GPC could actually increase the risk of stroke and atherosclerosis. Yikes. With regard to Bacopa, there are several small studies that show it could improve attention and verbal learning. And I'm working on a separate review just for Bacopa, so if you're interested, stay tuned and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. L-theanine, found in green tea, black tea, and some mushrooms, has been found to increase alpha brain waves, which have been associated with a relaxed but alert state. In a randomized placebo-controlled study, L-theanine was found to improve attention, working memory, and executive function in middle and older aged individuals. Vitamin B6 is also included in alpha brain, low levels of vitamin B6 can lead to cognitive impairment. But if you're not deficient, there's really no evidence to suggest that it will improve your memory. L-tyrosine is an amino acid that is a precursor of neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. L-tyrosine may improve cognitive function in stressful conditions such as cold environments or sleep deprivation. One study found it improved working memory and cognitive control in healthy adults under stress. However, human research on tyrosine is mixed and inconclusive. Some studies even suggests that tyrosine may have a negative impact on cognitive function in older adults. Phosphatidylserine is a component of cell membranes and it's really important for healthy nerve cell function. Studies from the 80s and 90s show that phosphatidylserine may help with symptoms of Alzheimer's and other forms of age-related memory decline. However, the phosphatidylserine used in these studies was derived from cow brain tissue, which due to the concern for prion disease is rarely used today. Most phosphatidylserine supplements now use soy-based ingredients, which have a different fatty acid composition and haven't shown significant cognitive benefits in studies. But when it's combined with omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil, soy-based phosphatidylserine has shown some promise for non-demented elderly people with memory complaints and even for ADHD symptoms in children. Here's the rundown on some of the most commonly reported side effects for Alpha Brain. Now, when it comes to the individual ingredients in Alpha Brain, here are a few really important things to keep in mind. L-theanine can lower blood pressure, so be cautious if you're taking blood pressure-lowering medication 
conditions, huperzine A may decrease heart rate, so proceed with caution if you have heart problems. It also can interact with medications that affect the levels of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. The 10 milligrams of vitamin B6 in alpha brain is well above the recommended daily amount, so be mindful of overdoing it if you're taking other vitamin B6 rich supplements because that can cause B6 toxicity. B6 toxicity can cause neuropathy, balance problems, and muscle weakness. Bacopa may interact with anticholinergic medications and has been shown to affect thyroid hormone levels in animal studies. Cat's claw was associated with one case of kidney failure in a person with lupus, and it could also cause allergic reactions or digestive upset. Phosphatidylserine has blood thinning properties, so avoid it if you are taking blood thinning medications. Okay, what is my personal experience with alpha brain? I was a fan of Alpha Brain back between 2016 and 2018. I took it every day. During that time, actually, when I first started taking it, I did notice a slight improvement in my verbal skills and sharpness, but this very well could have been placebo effect. And over time, I didn't really notice any significant changes, but I still continued to take it because I didn't want to lose any potential cognitive enhancing effects from it. What really stood out to me was the vivid dreams that I had while taking it. I actually found these dreams to be beneficial not only for my creative thinking, but also for my psychological well-being. I'm really big on dream interpretation and exploring the psychological significance of dreams to aid in psychological healing, so Alpha Brain helped with that. I stopped taking Alpha Brain several years ago because I got pregnant. I had to stop taking it due to the risk of miscarriage associated with one of its previous active ingredients, Vimposatine, and I haven't started taking it again um, just because I take other supplements that, in my opinion, are more important to my health at this point. My overall opinion on Alpha Brain is that it does contain several ingredients that have preliminary evidence to suggest they may improve cognition, but obviously more studies need to be done to confirm these results. A major con of Alpha Brain is that the exact amount of each ingredient in the supplement is unknown, so this may influence its effectiveness. Also, there were only two human clinical trials on Alpha Brain itself, whose results were modest at best, and the one study that showed significant results in verbal recall used the Alpha Brain formulation that included an ingredient that is no longer within the current formulation, which is vimposatine. All in all, it's important to keep in mind that any nootropic supplement, including Alpha Brain, is not as powerful as advertised or as depicted in movies like Limitless, when we all like to discover the pill that Bradley Cooper discovered in Limitless that completely changed his life. Like, that would be great, but I have not come across any supplement that is that powerful. In my opinion, there are other lifestyle practices such as physical exercise, which are more budget-friendly and which have more robust evidence to show that they enhance cognitive function and brain health. This is NeuroGalMD. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe for more incredible content about the brain. And if you have any supplements you'd like for me to review, please go ahead and comment in the description below. We'll catch you next time. Bye.